The Ethiopian Orthodox Church, among the world's most ancient Christian denomination, has recently experienced targeted attacks orchestrated by Abi Ahmed, Oromo nationalists, and adherents of the prosperity gospel. These attacks were primarily driven by the profound divergence in teachings between the traditional beliefs of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church and the prosperity gospel. The government and followers of the prosperity gospel viewed the Ethiopian Orthodox Church's teachings as a challenge to their expansion due to their fundamentally contrasting interpretations of Christianity. Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity recognizes suffering and pain as inherent aspects of the human experience stemming from humanity's fall and the presence of sin in the world. Within this theological framework, there's a profound emphasis on enduring suffering and discovering purpose within it, often drawing inspiration from the trials faced by biblical figures as a testament to their unwavering faith. Traditional Christian teachings prioritize core values such as humility, compassion, and a commitment to serving others. In this worldview, disparities in wealth, health, and life circumstances are not seen as divisions, but rather as opportunities for demonstrating empathy, extending charity, and providing assistance to those in need. When it comes to interpreting the Bible, traditional Christians adopt a broader perspective, considering its entire message. This comprehensive approach includes teachings on suffering, sacrifice, and the prioritization of spiritual wealth over material riches. At its core, traditional Christian faith revolves around an unwavering trust in God, irrespective of one's circumstances. It doesn't promise material wealth or a life free from suffering, but it does offer a wellspring of hope, inner strength, and solace when facing life's various challenges. Ethiopia is mired in the clutches of a leader who shamelessly exploits a nauseating cult-like following and unshakable ethnic manipulation for his own greedy gains. The time for Ethiopians to rise up and remove this deluded mad despot is long overdue. Ethiopia can't stomach one more wretched day under his oppressive rule. Each passing day hurls us deeper into a pit of despair forging a nightmarish normal that's tearing the nation apart. Everyone shout, enough, from the depths of our souls. Enough of the bloodshed, enough of the mockery of our suffering, enough of the ethnic cleansing of Amhara, enough of the massacres, enough of the persecution of Orthodox Christians, enough of the lies, enough of the travesty of justice. <laughs> 